Learn from God to enlighten your soul. This is your daily devotional reading. Our Father Kales, May 15th, Building Up One Another We then that are strong ought to bear the infirmities of the weak and not to please ourselves. Romans 15 verse 1 God does not want us to place ourselves upon the judgment seat and judge each other. When we see errors in others, let us remember that we have faults greater, perhaps, in the sight of God than the fault we condemn in our brother. Instead of publishing his defects, ask God to bless him and to help him to overcome his error. Christ will approve of this spirit and action and will open the way for you to speak a word of wisdom that will impart strength and help to him who is weak in the faith. The work of building one another up in the most holy faith is a blessed work, but the work of tearing down is a work full of bitterness and sorrow. Christ identifies himself with his suffering children, for he says, Inasmuch as ye have done it unto one of the least of these my brethren, ye have done it unto me. Matthew 25 verse 40 Every heart has its own sorrows and disappointments, and we should seek to lighten one another's burdens by manifesting the love of Jesus to those around us. If our conversation were upon heaven and heavenly things, Evil speaking would soon cease to have any attraction for us. Instead of finding fault with others, let us be critical with ourselves. The question with each one of us should be, Is my heart right before God? Will this course of action glorify my Father which is in heaven? If you have cherished a wrong spirit, let it be banished from the soul. It is your duty to eradicate from your heart everything that is of defiling nature. Every root of bitterness should be plucked up, lest others be contaminated by its baleful influence. Do not allow one poisonous plant to remain in the soil of your heart. Root it out this very hour and plant in its stead the plant of love. Let Jesus be enshrined in the soul. Christ is our example. He went about doing good. He lived to bless others. Love beautified and ennobled all his actions, and we are commanded to follow in his steps. Our Father Kells, May 15th.